Hi, this is Belinda from Belinda Lee Briggs Web Design, and today I'm going to share my top tips for um, troubleshooting the unsaved form block submission email that comes from Squarespace, letting you know that they weren't able to share your email sign up with MailChimp, um, that the submission didn't work. Their top tip is to reset um, the MailChimp connection and I'd like to offer something else as a solution first. So, um, you'll notice that on my website, I have the famous email signup in the footer. And I'm going to show you how it is set up by coming in through the back end. I'm just going to click edit and my storage option is set up the MailChimp and I have this required double opt-in after subscribing checked. What this does, this magical little button, is it forces the whole is this spam email, is this not spam email question away from MailChimp and back on the user who signed up. This will save you from worrying about whether your form is set up and going through the hoops of um, reconnecting and disconnecting forms. Now, there are some other reasons why you may get that error, and I'll cover these, but this is the number one thing. Make sure that this is checked. And click Apply. My Apply button is off screen, um, but you would click Apply. I'm just going to click Cancel because it's already done. So and I'm also not going to save because we're already set up. So let us do a test. I'm going to send it to myself. And I really have a very boring thank you here. You might have a redirect or something a little more exciting. Watch your inbox for the um, um, email. You need to confirm your subscription. Might be a good thing to put in here. Check. Okay, so I'm going to wait a minute for my email to come through and see if I get that confirmation. In my email, I've received the um, confirmation email from MailChimp. You can see that it's from, it actually comes in through me because I have mine authorized to do so, but this was actually generated by MailChimp. And you can kind of see that right there, MC sign up, MailChimp sign up. Um, that's who mailed it, but it comes through me. And there are ways, um, I digress, let's not go there right now. You can um, edit this email to have a little more information than what I have. I can show you how to do that in a few minutes. But the key here is what we want to do is say, yes, subscribe me to the list. And I also want to let you know that it's been about two hours since I received this email. I wanted to see if I was going to get a bounce notification from Squarespace, and I haven't yet. So I did not get that dreaded um, form not submitted. So we're going to say yes subscribe me to this list. It's going to give me a recaptcha. And all these things are great for keeping your list down because having a list eventually will cost you money. And I have an, uh, another blog post coming out very soon about um, how to choose a MailChimp plan or when it's time to choose a MailChimp plan and, and what you should use to determine that. Okay, so I'm in. Yay! And then I can continue back on to the Belinda Liebrig website. So now what I want to do is I want to confirm in MailChimp that my audience grew. Let's see what happens if we give this a refresh here. Great. 28 contacts. Let's take a peek at them. I know my list is really small. Um, and I should grow it more. So if you want to jump in and get these useful tips ahead of time without having to check for them, um, you can do that. So here you can actually see my source is Squarespace. Also notice that there's a contact rating here, and that's really important. Someone with a contact rating of one is going to generate that spam and it's going to cause the disconnect. So two is the minimum you'll see. Someone with four stars opens up all your emails, which is great. Um, and what MailChimp actually recommends that you do with this contact rating is um, give special offers to your four-star people and you can actually target those. Okay, I digress. So that is my number one way to ensure that you are not getting that awful um, please reconnect your MailChimp to your Squarespace. 
So this leaves us with one tool in our tool belt that we have put in place. So moving forward, hopefully, unless there are some other issues going on, we won't be seeing form submission failures due to spammy email um, that MailChimp doesn't like. However, this still leaves us with the issue of getting this person onto our email address, onto our email list. It doesn't hurt to go ahead and try to add them. Um, if they don't confirm, um, then that's totally fine. But we want to make sure that we pr provide some good customer service to this poor person who, um, if they were real, did try to email us. So what we would do is just manually add this person. So you're going to open up your email and you're going to copy this email address out of here. And you're going to go into your MailChimp. And what you can do is make sure you've clicked on the audience page. And over here in the manage audience drop down, you're just going to say add a subscriber. Now you probably don't know the person's first and last name. That's okay. None of that is required. You can just paste their email address in here. Um, and then when you click come down here, you can't click subscribe until you've checked that this person gave you permission to email. You're going to click the subscribe button and they'll be added. So that is kind of the last little bit is making sure that we add that person in who may or may not have been spammy and we'll know when they choose to confirm or not. Or not. Um, and so that is it. Hopefully that solves your problem. And if not, there is a blog post that shares some other things that could be causing your issue. So read on if this doesn't do it for you.